What's going on guys, in today's YouTube video, we're going to be going through every single piece that you guys see behind me. We're basically going to be going through my closet. Definitely stay tuned to the end of the video because you guys might be interested in one of the hoodies that you might see or you might like take inspiration from one of them and want to buy something that's similar. My name's Kevin, if you guys are new here, definitely go check out some of my latest videos. I also upload like a bunch of different hypey stuff, a lot of shoe stuff. I just literally do everything that has to do with like clothing or like designer, or, like kind of in that category just like for fashion. So if you guys are new here, definitely subscribe down below if you're interested in more videos like this. I know for a fact you guys are definitely gonna be interested in some of the pieces that I have, so I'll definitely drop all the links to like everything down in the description. Alright guys, so this is what my closet looks like right now. At the top right here we have some bags. This is a Louis Vuitton bag from when I bought my mom a purse like a while ago. This is a bag from Neiman's when I bought these off-white shoes that are right here at the bottom. That's a bag for one of the hoodies that you guys are gonna be seeing right now in a bit. Uh, that's from my Rick Owens and then just some things that I use on a daily basis, some belts. Right here are these two flannel looking shirts that I got from Abercrombie like I think a year ago. Um, if you're interested in these type of shirts, definitely go check out Abercrombie because they do a good job um, at designing them. Like they just look so nice and simple, like nothing too crazy on them. Next right here I just have a couple of dressing shirts and my dressing pants for like events that I go to like weddings if I ever need them. Next to that are a couple of polos that I have. This one was actually gifted to me last Christmas. Uh, the one before uh, this one that just passed by. Uh, it's just a button up like olive green shirt. And then right here I just have a button up polo along with the button up Hugo Boss shirt that I was actually gifted as well. I don't really wear these like every day but it's nice to have just in case I need them to like go out somewhere. Next to that I have this All Saints button up shirt that's like this light bluish color that I was gifted this Christmas which I showed in my recent video. If you guys haven't checked that out it'll be at the top right of the screen somewhere. This right here is a shirt that I bought from Zara like a while ago to wear my rigs. Um, it has like these white beige buttons and then it has like this faded kind of look on the black color. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this one on my Instagram stories. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll definitely drop it right here on the screen. Next up right here, I have this sweatshirt that I bought from Abercrombie like a year ago, I believe. Um, it kind of looks like it's cashmere, but it's not. It's like this brown and beige type of color. At the top right here, it has like these sewing lines that you guys can see as well as the bottom. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on right now because it's... Sure, it's kind of like bothering me. I'm kind of bored of it. Next up, I have this Zara sweatshirt right here that you guys have also seen in my last video. It's really nice. It's like this dark bluish color. It's from Zara. You can see the dark blue color right there. The cool part about this sweatshirt is that at the bottom, it has like this white, which I explained in the last video. It kind of makes it seem like you're wearing a shirt underneath, which I guess if you really wanted to, you could wear this as a shirt. I tried it before, and I mean, it doesn't really bother me. Right after that, we have this DGK hoodie. Um, I think I actually got this one passed down to me like three years ago. I don't really remember. At the back it says all day, every day. Um, this is just something that I don't really wear out in public because I just usually like wearing like plain solid colors and I don't really like designs like this anymore. So I just kind of use this to sleep. Right after that, we have this Puma sweatshirt right here, which I use to sleep as well. And then this Puma sweater, um, which I just use as like a beater. I like wear it everywhere. Like maybe if I need to fix something, I'll probably wear it if it's outside because I'm not trying to get my other stuff dirty. If I have hoodies on this side behind this little like airplane pillow, it's usually like my beater hoodies. Um, right next to it, we have a champion hoodie as well. It's like too slippery, like the material is too slippery. It feels like those slippery socks, if you guys know what I mean by that. I, I just don't really like how it feels like on the inside. Um, but yeah, just a regular champion hoodie. It's just white, nothing on the back. So right here I have this pink hoodie that I bought at Zara, but I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. It's like this bubblegum pink color. It's way nicer in person than it is on camera. Um, at the front it says the collection session P2. And then it has like these strings with this chrome on it. I don't really like buying stuff from Zara anymore because I realized that it really shrinks when you dry it. But I ended up buying the sweater because of the fitting. It fits really nice and short, like you can still see my shirt underneath it. And this sweater is also really thick, I don't know if you guys can tell. This is one of my favorite sweaters as of right now. Right next to this hoodie right here, I have this olive green color hoodie that I bought from Nordstrom. It's like really long. I believe this is a size small, but it runs like as a medium. And it's also a really thick hoodie, as you guys can see by the hood. I bought this hoodie for like the spring season because in spring like this type of color is used a lot. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that I tried shrinking it when I like after I washed it, I tried drying it, um, but it didn't really shrink at all. This sucks, but it's okay. Right next to this olive green hoodie, I have a sweater from Abercrombie. This one's like a beige color. 
It has this chrome zipper. It zips down from the top and then it zips up from the bottom. I did buy this one like a while ago and I believe this one's size small and it doesn't really fit me no more so I'm definitely going to need a size up for this one. If you guys are the type to wear like hoodies or sweaters in the summer, I definitely recommend buying sweaters from Abercrombie because you could zip them down or up however you would like it and in the summer those kind of look nice, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of what I do with some fits, I'll show you guys a picture up here on the screen. The only thing that I've learned and the only thing that I recommend about some hoodies is just like hoodies in general. Definitely don't dry them after you wash them, just let them hang and sit there. Unless you're actually trying to shrink them, then dry them. Because that's most likely what will happen with them, they'll shrink. Right next to the Abercrombie sweater, uh, we have this Nike hoodie right here, this gray Nike hoodie. This one's pretty popular, I'm pretty sure you guys see this all over school or wherever you go. Just has a regular Nike swoosh here with the Nike uh, logo. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple, but it's really comfortable. I feel like that's what Nike sweaters or like hoodies are about. They're like really simple, but they're really comfortable. Right here we have a sweater that I recently just picked up. This is a UV light protection sweater that I ordered from Uniqlo recently. As you guys can see, it's really, really thin. This is more like a spring type of sweater because of the fact that it's really thin. That's kind of what I ordered it for for the springtime because it's coming up. Oh yeah, and also on the inside, I kind of forgot to tell you guys this. It has like this little pouch so you could actually like fold it up. Since the material is actually really thin, it could fold up like nothing. But yeah, I decided to order this off Uniqlo because I've never really had anything like a sweater, like a hoodie that was this type of blue. Um, and I really like it. I just wish it was a little more thick. Talking about like a thicker sweater, like a thicker windbreaker. Right next to that one, I have this off-white windbreaker that I bought. So right here on the top on both sides says off for the off-white. And then it has like this brown type of color mixed in with some black. The hood also has a little bit of black on it. And then behind we have this off-white logo um, with more black at the bottom. I would say for a windbreaker, this is actually pretty thick. Definitely not worth it, but I thought it was really nice. So you know your boy had to get it because you gotta treat yourself sometimes. Right next to my off-white sweater, we have this Ami Paris hoodie. I'm pretty sure off the bat, you guys are definitely looking at the strings. You guys can see how thick they are. They're really, really thick. It has like chrome on the tips of each string. And then you guys can see the Ami Paris logo at the front of the hoodie. This hoodie was really expensive, but definitely worth the price because of the fact that it's so thick. I don't know if you guys can see how thick it is. It's literally like this thick. And that's just the hoodie alone. You guys can see that. On the back side, we don't really have anything and it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but at the back, we just have this little Ami Paris logo right here at the top under the hood. The only bad part about this hoodie is that it doesn't have pockets, but it doesn't really matter because it covers me well. Right next to that hoodie, we have this Abercrombie & Fitch jean jacket, which is really out of date because nobody really wears this anymore. Well, at least not me. You guys can see it just has Abercrombie on each of the buttons. Two pockets on the front and two pockets on like the bottom side, just like every other jean jacket. Looks pretty normal. Nothing really on the back. This one actually fits me small, which is kind of the fact why I don't really wear it anymore. And it's just kind of out of style. It's just like not the type of clothes that I wear anymore. The thing about these jackets though is that it's actually kind of cool how they're made because it's literally like jean material. That's why they're kind of heavy. The hoodie that I'm holding right here that I'm about to show you guys is a hoodie that you guys have seen in my past videos. It's from All Saints. As you guys know, I like shopping from that brand. On the back, we have this skull right here spinning out a snake, which is really cool. And it has like these blue effects around it. I like that All Saints hoodies are like black, but like the black is like kind of faded. And then on the front, here we have again the skull spitting out a snake. Just a smaller design, which is really cool. The thing about these hoodies is that the material may feel thick, but it's not really thick if you actually feel it. I feel like these hoodies are just kind of for look because they do not cover you like whatsoever. Right next to that hoodie, we have this sweater from Abercrombie. It's literally the same one as like the beige one that I showed you guys earlier. Um, the double sided sip up. So you can sip it up from the bottom up or from the top down. This one does fit me better than the other one because the other one is small, this one's medium. On the front, we just have these two pockets on this side and then on the other side. Just like any other normal sweater. Um, and on the back, we don't really have anything at all, just a hood. But if you're the type of person who wear like sweaters over your shirts in like the summer or spring, I'm telling you, go pick these up. You would not regret it. Again, spring is coming up. Definitely go pick these up right now if you guys want. It's also like really black when you buy it at first, but then the black kind of fades on it. Next up, we have this Nike hoodie. Another popular one that everybody has. Um, Nike swoosh and then the Nike logo it has the pockets at the bottom as you guys can see and then nothing really on the back For this one also over time the black fades I've realized that because they turn more into like light gray like dark gray I meant to say this one along with the gray one that I showed you guys I got in my last Christmas video So don't forget to check that out. It'll be down below in the description waiting for you after you watch this video 
For this next piece that I'm about to show you guys, I actually got from the Show Lonely concert. So basically, when the concert ended, oh, we all had to leave like immediately, but there was a bunch of sweaters and like hoodies on the floor. So what I did is I just grabbed a bunch because I was hoping that it was some of the Show Lonely merch or Homicide Gang merch. Um, so I brought some home expecting that it was going to be that. Um, and it didn't end up being that, but it's okay anyways because I still got this sweater from the floor. Don't worry though, I know you guys are wondering, did you wash it? Yes, I did wash it and it's in perfect condition. That's the only reason why I kept it. So if you were at the Chicago to Stroll the Only concert and you dropped this sweater, unfortunately it's mine now, I'm so sorry. So we have like this maroon red type of hoodie right here. It has strings at the front and pockets on the bottom. It's really thin though. It doesn't have anything on the back, like usual, just the hood. It's really, really thin how I told you guys. I believe this guy got this one from H&M, which I'm not really complaining because I got it for free and it's comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely one of my other beater hoodies. This next piece that I'm about to show you guys is also a hand-me-down uh, jacket from my brother. So right here we have this Stussy jacket, which is really old. I, I'm not really sure from what drop it was because I don't really keep up with Stussy drops, uh, but it was like around the year of 2015, 16, around there. So on the back right here it says Stussy. On the inside tag it says Stussy as well. And then on the outside it has like these buttons which say Stussy as well. I don't know if you guys can really tell. And then just like their logo, Stussy again at the front. I like how it has their logo on it, but it still looks like really nice and simple. Um, but my favorite part about this jacket definitely is that it has strings hanging from the bottom as you guys can tell. The strings look like really cool hanging from like the bottom in front of you. I guess it just feels cool because I've never really seen this on any other jacket. I've never really seen like another company do that. At the front it has pockets on each side again. Um, and it's also like a spring type of jacket. It's really thin. It's kind of like a windbreaker as well. We're almost done guys, don't worry, just keep watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below if you're enjoying so far. Um, hopefully you guys are also having an amazing day. Moving on to my final piece in my closet, I have an All Saints jacket that I bought this past winter. So uh, here I have this All Saints puffer jacket, as you guys can see. It's a really big jacket, um, but it's also reversible. On this side it's black and then on the inside it's like this olive green type of color. With like mixed with a little bit of brown i'll show you guys the inside right now in a bit um but right here at the front i like that the zipper has the all saints tag on it it's really nice and then it also has like these chrome type of buttons on the collar and the really cool part about this jacket is that the collar like completely covers your neck um so you definitely won't get sick wearing this the only bad part about this piece for you guys is that it's actually discontinued so if you like it i'm really sorry but they're not making this one anymore but if you're willing to like buy a puffer jacket from all saints um, I believe they lowered the price for it because I bought this one for like 500 I believe from the last time I checked their website, the prices did drop on the new ones that released. Um, I believe the prices are ranging from like 300 to like 400 so If you guys are interested, definitely go check out All Saints right now. This video is not sponsored by them, by the way. I hope one day though, like they'll like notice me and sponsor me because of how many things I buy from their brand. So on the outside, it was black as you guys can see. And on the inside, how I told you guys you could reverse it, it also has pockets on each side. This is the color that I was talking about, olive green with like a little bit of brown. Lately, a lot of jacket companies or just like a bunch of jackets in general have been reversible, which is something really cool. And I actually still haven't taken off the tag off this jacket. Look, as you guys see, I bought it for 500. One thing about these jackets or just jackets in general, um, or maybe hoodies in general, depending on like your sizing, uh, you need to go in person, like try them out because I know that sometimes when you order it, it probably won't be your right size because some things are oversized and some things are not oversized. Just be careful about that when you're shopping around because I know you wouldn't want to deal with like delays and like reshipping back. It's complicated. Hopefully like this video helped you guys out if you were like looking to buy like new hoodies, sweaters, sweatshirts maybe. I know sometimes people just click on these videos because they're just like curious of what other people have and like like to take ideas. But yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's YouTube video. Nothing really like crazy for this video today. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I have right behind me, I'll definitely link them down in the description like I already told you guys. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because at a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a huge sneaker giveaway and you guys definitely do not wanna miss out on that. Let me know down below in the comments if there's any like low-key brands or like hoodies or anything that would look good on me that you guys like find. But yeah, hopefully you guys do have a good night day whenever you're watching. Peace.